Syrian government troops have forced ISIS fighters out of the historic city of Palmyra. But it comes far too late for the Roman-era ruins and priceless antiques ISIS destroyed there. It's a story Elizabeth Palmer has been following, and she has the latest now. For three weeks, the Syrian army has been advancing on Palmyra in an offensive backed by Russian airstrikes to drive ISIS out. Today, the army declared victory. Soldiers found the residential areas of the town littered with ISIS signs and banners, but all eyes were on the city's world-famous ancient ruins. Mamoun Abdel Karim, Syria's head of antiquities, was glued to the TV in Damascus, watching for news. Some of the destruction he already knows about. Last summer, ISIS posted videos of their fighters hacking at 2,000-year-old treasures. Hundreds more were saved in the nick of time, Dr. Abdel Karim told me, by brave archaeologists who drove them to safety as ISIS moved in. You know, Palmyra for us presented as the capital of the Syrian civilization. How I can imagine as director general of the antiquity in Syria without the Palmyra? It's our icon. But once ISIS was in control of Palmyra, it set about staging acts of barbarism it knew would cause outrage. A mass execution in the Roman amphitheater. A videotape of its fighters packing explosives into Palmyra's UNESCO protected buildings. First to be blown up in June was the Lion of Al Lat. Then the monumental temples of Bel and Bel Shamim, both reduced to rubble. For 10 months, ISIS occupied Palmyra, and archaeologists feared that before they left, they'd destroy the rest. But incredibly, barring hidden bombs and booby traps, today it appears safe and intact. Of course, it's going to take a few days, Jeff, before the Syrian army really has a chance to examine the site and declare it secure before the archaeologists can go in and do a proper inventory. Liz Palmer, thank you very much.